Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Vin, and on this channel you can find anything to do with drones, filming, editing tutorials, you name it. So give us a subscribe below to check out more videos like these. Alright, now let's get to this low light test. So this first shot is at 200 ISO. I arrived at the beach around 15 minutes before sunset. As you can see there's, I would say, minimal noise at 200 ISO. You can see a little bit of green in some of the shadows, but it's not too bad. This next shot is at 400 ISO. see a little bit more green in those shadows. I believe this shot was just as the sun set. It's a bit more overcast on this day so it's a little bit harder to tell. The sun is just about set here. Okay, this is at 800 ISO. We're definitely starting to see some more noise over the ocean specifically. And in those darker areas. I would say that at 800 it is definitely still usable. With a little bit of noise reduction. I was getting a little worried about those seagulls down there. This next shot at 1600 ISO. And as you can predict, it is a bit more noisy than, than the rest. <laughs> and you already know, after flying so many laps, I, I figured I had to go through. I was eyeing it out every time I passed by. It is pretty dark at this point. Uh, you can see all the street lights are on, and in my DVR, it was getting a little bit hard to see. I didn't end up taking it for the 3200 round, uh, as I feared it was a little too unsafe to be flying after this, this lighting condition. If I can find a place that's less sandy, I'm going to be doing a super low light test coming up. I'm going to really put this thing to the 3200 ISO range and see what it's got in pretty much complete darkness. So stay tuned for that, subscribe below, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.